I wanted to recreate this, a game mechanic known as Active Reload in Gears of War. The game mechanic itself is pretty much this UI here and you press reload again when the pin is either in the outer area or the small sweet spot for a quicker reload and some other abilities. In my case I'm only going to be making the reload side of things. I always thought this was a nice mechanic and thought I'd give it my best shot to recreate and learn a little bit more in the process. Granted I won't have any good visuals to back up the mechanic but low poly will do. Keep in mind I'm not the best dev out there. This isn't really a tutorial but rather me sharing my process and my final result. More than anything it's a learning experience for me. I will be recreating this mechanic in the Godot game engine and the source code will be in the description for those who are interested. First I started by getting a first person controller in the plugin store. Thing is, by the end of this project, I actually ended up replacing this first person controller on other first person controller made by Garbage. Link in the description. Next I started by making a scene with three areas. One for the moving marker slash pin, another one for the area around the sweet spot, and another area for the sweet spot itself. After that, I made a script on the root object of the scene and sent signals from the pin to the script allowing me to know if the pin is either in the sweet spot, outer area, or nothing upon entry and exit of each of those areas. To make things a little easier for me, I made a simple UI, sort of mimicking the one in Gears of War, and added those as sprites to the areas. Then I moved on to the script, I had to find a way to make the reload scene modular as well. I mean different guns with different reload speeds would be used, and scaling the speed at which the spin moves across the scene according to that. I went through three script designs until I found one that was simple yet effective. Then I moved on to the gun. In this case, I found a model of an Uzi online, gave it some animations, and gave it a script. Going back to the UI, I went back to make some changes, added a text label in order to give the player feedback to let them know which area they hit. And that was pretty much it for the UI. The whole thing works as follows. As soon as a player triggers a reload, the drop mag animation is played. From here, it is up to the reload interface which the player controls to dictate which animation is going to be played next. A super fast reload, quick reload, or a normal reload. If there is no action by the player, or the player misses a sweet spot or outer area, the normal reload animation proceeds automatically. There was one problem with my method though. The player upon reloading instantiates the reload interface instead of it being placed in one of the scenes already. This means that I'm making a copy of the original instance every time, and once the reload was complete it was being destroyed. This can be an issue if this mechanic were to be used on another gun. This is because maybe you want to have the sweet and outer areas in different sizes or different locations for different guns. The best way to fix this was to instantiate it into a scene before running the game and just resetting the interface pin and visibility when the reload was completed. After being done with this mechanic, I realized there was one issue. The pin sometimes was not on the sweet spot and the sweet spot was apparently being hit. There was a problem where the script was updating the pin and still moving it despite the condition being found already. Believe it or not, this simple issue actually took me a while to fix as I was having a little bit of difficulty understanding how to process everything in order allowing it to not move anymore after the condition was found. I then made a few adjustments to the placement of a few lines and set the process mode a bit differently. The process mode is how often something gets updated. Since I was having an issue processing it every frame, I decided to put it in physics process, which not only increased our accuracy but overall consistency. Once those changes were made, the pin was now accurate in detecting where the pin was and where the player pressed reload once again and the mechanic was complete. Here is the final result. This was a fun experience. I did have an issue with the processing, which considering I just skimmed the issue here in the video, it doesn't seem like a big deal, but I spent longer than I'd like to admit fixing it. I really enjoyed working on this mechanic itself and have learned a bit regarding processing, simple animations, and translating something over a certain time slash rate. I do plan on making more of these videos of me recreating some more game mechanics, so if anyone watches this video and have a game mechanic you would like me to recreate, leave it down in the comments below. I'll see if I get around to it. And hopefully over time these videos become better in structure because I feel like this one was a bit messy. Anyways, thanks for watching.